I'm Sara Hashimaris from the Los Angeles Times Newsroom. 58-year-old Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez died Tuesday at a Caracas military hospital after a nearly two-year battle with cancer. Earlier, I chatted with Times senior international affairs writer Carol Williams on the popular but controversial leader's legacy and where future leadership for Venezuela lies. What kind of a legacy did Hugo Chavez leave for Latin America? Well, he basically changed the entire political landscape of Latin America during his 14 years in office. He steered a lot of other countries away from American-style capitalism toward a sort of renewed and redefined socialism. He called it his Bolivarian Revolution, and he attracted a lot of other countries into his campaigns against the United States. He offered other countries like Cuba and Bolivia subsidized oil in exchange for other services that he needed to help his people. Um, Chavez put the entire oil industry at the service of the public to combat poverty and create some you know, medical services and clinics in the barrios. He made education and government jobs available to the poor for the first time, really. And this is one of the reasons he had a long-running battle with opposition parties in Venezuela. So now what uh, can we look forward to when it comes to leadership in the country? Well, the Constitution requires the interim leader to be the National Assembly President, Diosdado Cabello. But Chavez, before he left for Cuba and his last cancer surgery, had said he wanted the Venezuelans to back Vice President Nicolas uh, Maduro, that that was his ideological successor. So there's probably going to be a pretty tough campaign between those two men. And also the opposition leader, who had a pretty good showing against Chavez during the last election in October, Enrique Capriles, he's probably also going to be campaigning for the presidency. And what can we expect uh, in terms of a relationship now between the U.S. and Venezuela? Well, probably not much improvement, at least in the short run, because even today the Venezuelan government announced that they were expelling two U.S. diplomats from Caracas. There's been a very animosity-based relationship between Washington and Caracas for most of Chavez's presidency. He blamed the United States for backing opposition parties in the coup that overthrew him in 2002. For more on this story and other headlines, be sure to keep up with The Times' ongoing coverage on LATimes.com.